What's up guys? How we doing? How we doing? Hope everyone is doing well today. Got a little something for a personal rip this afternoon. Brand new 2021 Bowman's Best Hobby Baseball. Pretty solid product every year. Uh, a little lower cost than the Bowman, Bowman Crawlman, Bowman Drafts. Usually, in most years, this year little caveat as there's been uh, some discussions on the prospect cards in this product and whether they are rookie cards so the product has gone up but I got a couple hobby boxes so I figured I would rip one for the channel so you guys can see what we have inside uh, I get four on card autos in the product and then different rookie cards base cards parallels etc and it's two master boxes in every hobby box so wish me luck see how i do as always personal breaks i slow roll myself so if you want to speed up the video feel free put me on a little quicker speed i'll sound like a chipmunk for you guys but let's see if we can pull up some fire the uh, big controversy with this product is all the prospects in the base set were not put in their own set. They're in the regular numbering. So Mike Trout is card number one. Tatis is card number two. Somebody like Jason Dominguez is card number 40. And according to Beckett's rules, if you're in the base set, that makes you a rookie. So... They are qualifying all the cards in the base set of people who haven't cards had cards before as rookie cards. So it's pretty controversial, controversial right now, but you never know what the hobby's going to decide if these are rookie cards or not. But wish me luck. See if I can pull some fire. They do not have the rookie card logo, which we've gotten used to in the last few years, but. Back in the day, no cards had the rookie card logo, so didn't mean they weren't rookies. All right, starting out with Chris Bryant. Behind that, Anthony Rizzo. And then Colton Kowser, so our first, maybe, rookie card. All these guys, if they don't have a card yet, according to Beckett, it's a rookie. Behind him, we got a future vibrance of Ryan Mountcastle. And Jackson Merrill refractor closing out pack number one there is andrew painter benny montgomery again potentially a, a rookie i suppose as would painter be there's bryce harper and we got an atomic ryan mountcastle rookie nice looking card right there and a J-Rod Refractor. That's a nice one. He would be another guy who may or may not be a rookie. If you guys get tired of me saying that, definitely fast forward this video. Then I have a Joey Gallo. Alec Boom, rookie. And purple. Logan Gilbert, two Fitty, and first auto is going to be Redemption. Let's see what we got. Best of 2021 autograph of Tyler Black of the Brew Crew. Tyler Black was in this year's uh, Bowman Draft first card. And a Kelnick Refractor rookie. Getting lots of Mariners. Jose Abreu, Jose Alatuve, Peter Alonzo, and there's a J-Rod, Future of Vibrance, and Real Muto, Refractor. Guy a lot of people are looking for in this product is Wander Franco. Because again, that may be considered his rookie card, and he at least has played in the major leagues already, whereas a lot of these guys, like Julio Rodriguez, etc., have not. So 
some people at least might want to consider that one a rookie compared to the other guys who might be a few years away from their call-up. There's Nando, Henry Davis, first overall pick in this past draft. And there he is, Wander Franco. We will take it. Behind Wander, we got our die cut of J-Rod, Mariner's Box, and a Aaron Judge Refractor. Last pack of our first mini, Christian Hernandez, Austin Hendrick, Yelich, we got the auto in the back, gonna try to do one of those. There's a Mookie Betts Refractor, and the auto is gonna be blue, and it's a blue J, Alec Manoa, blue auto. Looks nice, color match. And that is to 150 on the Manoa. Closing out first mini box. Very, very interesting product. We will see what the collectors have to say for long term, whether or not they believe these are indeed rookie cards for these prospects. If they are, this product might do pretty darn well in the future because to the hardcore collectors, because it's a 2021 set and I believe Topps is just about done making 2021 products. This would be their only rookie card for all these guys. So very interesting. And no matter what, I think, uh, you know, the years in the future, like next year, 2022, Wander should be in all of Topps products and he'll have the rookie card logo. I think those cards will still have value no matter what, even if people decide this might be the true rookie. I believe Derek Jeter is an example of that from back in the day. His, uh, <clears throat> his first card was 1993 SP. But he wasn't in the big leagues yet. Um, it was in the regular base set, though. But I think for some reason, some people didn't count it as a rookie card, I guess, maybe because he wasn't in the majors yet. But so he, he had rookie cards in 1996 after he came up. Tops put him in all their products, Tops and Upper Deck. And uh, I believe they're all considered rookie cards at least I know that the uh, whether it's considered a rookie card or not the 93 SP is by far Jeter's most desired card so we shall see time will tell what happens with this product but it's an interesting one I'll say that for sure getting uh Guys who may not be called up for probably three or four years, some of them. So you're getting up to four years of a rookie class in one product. Very, very interesting. All right, let's see our second mini box. I saw to win this one. First two were okay, but nothing crazy. Maybe some low number color so far. Just a purple to 250. And the auto to 150. You did get some good players though, I will admit that. To the base. There's a Joe Adele rookie. Nolan Arenado, Jackson Job. There's a future vibrance of Blaze Jordan, and we got a refractor of Mr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Frank Mosicato, Marco Luciano, Yoelki Cespedes. And we got the die cut of Aaron Judge. 
and a Yerman Mercedes rookie refractor. There's a six dole Casey Mize rookie. There's an Albert Pujols to 199. Miggy refractor auto is going to be Sherton Apostle rookie auto. Not who we're looking for. <laughs> okay. Let's see your tops. There is Joey Votto, Javi Baez, Ketel Marte, there's an Austin Martin, Future Vibrance, and Refractor, Josh Donaldson. Whit, Rosarena, Marcelo Meyer, top guy in this year's Bowman Draft. There's a die cut of Jordan Lawler, probably the second guy in Bowman Draft, and a Kyle Lewis Refractor, and the last pack of the break. Sal Freelick, also Bowman Draft, Akil Badu Rookie, Casey Mize, Rookie Craftsman, Barrero Refractor Rookie, and last auto is going to be... Julio Rodriguez. We will take that. There you go. Big J-Rod fan. Happy with that one. All right. We'll put together a quick little hit recap. Some of my bigger hits from the break. Speaking of this year's Bowman Draft, BT Dubs for you Bowman people. You have a couple cases of Bowman Draft Light headed my way. So I will have those breaks up for you all on the website, 718breaks.com here. Over the next few days, hopefully break them by the end of next week. If you haven't seen the product, it's pretty interesting. It's a lower cost version of Bowman Draft. I know jumbo boxes are getting up to uh, like the $450 range or so. Super jumbos, $650, $700. So it's pretty high entry fee. Draft light, definitely a lower cost. And uh, should be a good rip though. It still has all the base cards that you would get, all the chrome. You get the refractors still. You still get numbered stuff. You can get color. I've seen a few reds pulled in uh, Bowman Draft light boxes, red to five. Uh, and then they have black and white ray waves, I believe they're called. You get five of those per box. Pretty cool looking parallel. And they should be somewhat short printed since tops. I believe definitely made a lot less Bowman Draft light than they made of uh, Jumbos and Super Jumbo boxes. And then there are autos in the product, but they're a little bit of a tougher hit. So no guaranteed auto in each box, but we got a couple cases, so hopefully we'll get a couple autos in there somewhere. And I will have that up on the site in the coming days. We'll be breaking those. And they will also be on eBay for you eBay peeps. bigger hits from the break let's start with our rookies question mark at the end Jackson Job, Mozicado, Luciano, Yoelki, Marcelo Meyer, Freelich, Christian Hernandez, Colton Kowser, Benny Montgomery, Henry Davis, and Mr. Wander Franco 
for sure a rookie, Joe Adele. Got an Atomic rookie of Ryan Mountcastle. Future Vibrance, Austin Martin, Blaze Jordan, Mountie, and J-Rod. Got a Refractor of Mr. Acuna. Refractor rookies, potentially. <laughs> Definitely a rook, Yerman Mercedes, and Kelnick. And then maybe Jackson Merrill and J-Rod. Die cuts, we got three. Jordan Lawler, Aaron Judge, and J-Rod. Color, Pujols to 199, and Logan Gilbert to 250. And the autos, got a base auto, Tyler Black. Blue rookie auto of Manoa to 150. J-Rod auto, and Apostle rookie auto. That is going to do it for the break. Be back on this afternoon. We got four breaks going today to close out our week. And those auctions are up on eBay as we speak, if you're looking to check it on out. Thank you guys so much for joining. As always, peace and love.